Let's turn this into this. Hello and welcome back to Incredible Inverse and Other Animals from me, Phil. And today's video is going to be slightly different. We're going to turning a Stormtrooper decanter into a closed planted terrarium. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so here we go. We've turned this uh, Stormtrooper decanter into a terrarium. So just a quick look around the box. Um, so yeah, absolutely fantastic thing. Um, I'll pick this up with the uh, idea of turning this into a closed planted terrarium before I make a, a nice thing. I'm a massive fan of Star Wars. Um, so anything Star Wars related I absolutely love. And hopefully I'll get this done kind of in time for, uh, for Star Wars Day. So, so here is uh, the Gata. It's yeah, it's really nice looking. It's quite it's got a good weight to it. It's a really good looking glass on it and stuff. So yeah, really really well made. As you can see, absolutely fantastic. Things so are just a quick look round round it. So, so first off, I'm going to put a base layer just of basic aquarium gravel, just black gravel as a bit of a drainage layer using the funnel just to uh, get that in. And, uh, I don't have to sort of shake the funnel a bit just because, yeah, just to get through it. So, I've never actually uh, done a one with such a you know small kind of opening at the top. So, I got yeah, a decent layer of the aquarium gravel. On top of that, um, I'm going to basically stick some charcoal, some biochar into that as well, just again using the, uh, the funnel. <laughs> and this will just basically help keep things clean and so we'll basically filter water and stuff so in that goes and so I'll get a nice layer just over the top uh, with the charcoal and then we'll actually uh, basically mix this uh, into the substrate uh, that I use or that I'm using as well so in charcoal first for a charcoal layer and then uh, we'll go in with some substrate so that's what I'm using is a basically a Closed planted terrarium mix. Uh, it's one that I bought. I love it. wasn't too expensive. I love and because uh, you want something that obviously is basically kind of free draining but holds moisture quite well. I love, and it's designed for this sort of uh, this sort of thing. I love, so going in there, uh, I say with the substrate, sort of crumbling it in through through the funnel because again, as you can see here, it sometimes just clumps up uh, at the nozzle of the funnel. But well, give it a bit of a shake and it will go down there uh, nice and easily. I just uh, say it's making a huge mess. Uh, I've tried to do it before sometimes so without using funnels and uh, just got substrate and gravel and all sorts of things just everywhere. Uh, this just helps uh, prevent at least some of that uh, or at least keep it to a minimum. So you want a good layer of uh, substrate in there and try and bank it up towards the back a little bit as well. So I'm going to mix uh, some charcoal in with the substrate too. I also uh, mix in some a uh, aquarium uh, soil in as well. So once got a good layer in there, basically give it a nice good spray down. So just to rehydrate everything, make sure there's plenty of water in there. So and that's because the substrate was perhaps just a tiny bit dry, a little bit drier than I would have liked. And then I'm going to go in with some cuttings. So so I've got some. Uh, just a few kinds from plants that I've got dotted around that I use for various ones. So go and go in with this one now again. Never actually planted planted in anything with such a small opening uh, before either. So you know this will obviously help me with, with my skills a little bit. And so, I've, um, so yeah, just going in with the tweezers, obviously getting those cutting through, pushing them right into the uh, into the soil until. Uh, basically, the, the leaf node uh, touches uh, the top of the soil. Other than then, uh, hopefully, uh, they will. They should hopefully root up. I can see sometimes it can be a, sort of difficult sometimes to keep to keep the, the kind of things in the soil. Sometimes, although you end up taking them out multiple times, but you know, eventually you get there. So, so yeah, that in there, nice. I keep looking at it now. I don't want to put too many plants in there because obviously they are going to, or well, hopefully they're going to grow. So I um, don't want to completely fill fill up it either. Um, I'm hoping these are going to work, but there is a chance that they won't. So there's a bit of an experiment uh, from my end. I've done a couple of uh, jar terrariums before. Uh, you know, with recycled jars. Some work, some haven't worked, and so this is the first time I've done anything in something like this. 
ones up, so it's a bit, you know, I say, a bit of an experiment for me. Hopefully, it does work though. And just getting space to hit here, well, nice uh, creeping focus. As well, so this is always a good one to use uh, with various rariums. And all these plants are completely sort of animal safe as well. They're ones I just use in, in my various animal enclosures. And so, all uh, cuttings from, from those. So, um, so three plants. Now I'm going to try with these uh, tiny ones. I ended up not actually really using them just because um, I didn't really end up liking the look of it. Uh, in the end, with those in there, uh, I thought actually perhaps too many, uh, too many plants uh, for this one. But I stick them in initially uh, first, and then yeah, like I say decided actually no, I don't like it. As I've said, went in with just a little bit of moss uh, towards the end. So first of all, you know, see if I can get them in, you know, stick them in there first. And then before, like I say, before I decided, no, don't like the look of that. <laughs> and so, again, it's all personal preference, these things. So yeah, there we go, I'll take it out. And so, um, but I do find making these things uh, really relaxing, even if they, uh, you know, like I say, I've had some that have failed on me. So, so I'm just going in with some little bits of moss. Again, these may, may take, these may not. And so it's not perfect. Uh, by any means so like I say it's a bit of a practice uh, run this one I would like to you know if some some things work and stuff I'd like to perhaps get more of these in or another one do it better uh, to the point where perhaps I can even uh, sell a few so um, so just going in with, with this moss so I'd perhaps use a different moss perhaps uh, another time so I think perhaps one that's a bit a bit smaller potentially so, but you know it's all experimentation and stuff and uh, seeing what works and what doesn't work and stuff and it's all part of the fun at the end of the day and so again and then I'm just going to go in with a little bit more water just to make sure everything's you know is watered in sort of thing um, and the idea these guys if you don't want to put too much water in then you don't want to be watering too much either so less is more but that's all the finished uh, product I'm quite happy with it I'm going to stick some Akadama just on top, just for sort of accent notes of it. I like putting a little bit of Akadama around things as well. So, and uh, yeah, so that is a, a Stormtrooper closed terrarium. Okay, so there we go. So it's just a simple one, as you can see. Um, I can put spring tails in there, you know, potentially to, to help keep it going. Hopefully uh, this will grow in nicely. As well, I might add some more things as when. This is the first time actually me trying one with such a small, you know, sort of nozzle. So it is quite, it is a bit fiddly actually. Um, not fiddly than any kind of think sometimes. But, you know, I'm pretty pleased with that at the end of the day. Sort of thing. And uh, potentially if it grows on, I might get some more of these in potentially and do a few, maybe have some available at some of the shows. I do sell a few little uh, terrariums that I build and stuff. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Now, if you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Pop some comments down below. And if you haven't yet, please do consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell for notifications so you know next time I upload another video. Also, guys, if you go down into the, the uh, description of this video, you'll find all my various links. Like my affiliate link for Spider Shop, where you can do all your Spider and Invert shopping, and I get a little bit of a kickback at no extra cost to you guys. There's also links to my merch store if you're interested in any merch. Got a link to my Patreon if you're interested in that, or you can become a channel member as well if that interests you. And there's also links to things like my TikTok and my Instagram down there as well. But until next time, guys, may the fourth be with you. Take care and keep rocking.